Hello everyone. This is Deepak Khatri from Upside Down Labs and in today's video we are going to showcase our new software called Chords. Using this software you can visualize and record your bio potential signal. Currently I have connected a muscle bio amp patchy and three bio amp EFJ pills to my body to record single channel EMG, single channel EOG, one channel ECG and EEG. And using Chords software we are going to visualize and record all these bio potential signals simultaneously. I have connected all these sensors to Arduino Uno R4 using a custom shield but you can use a breadboard as well. Basically you have to provide power to the sensors and take output of the sensor then connect it to all the analog pins of your Arduino. We have Arduino Uno R3 and R4 software available on our GitHub. You have to first flash that sketch to your Arduino before you start using your Chords. So let's dive into the software and how to record the bio potential. To access our Chords application, you can go to chords.upsidedownlabs.tech. This is the home page where we have showcased the visualization portion of our software and it is showcasing ECG, EMG, EOG and EEG signals. Then we go through the steps you have to take to record and visualize your bio potential signals. How to connect your hardware, how to upload the code to your hardware, then how to visualize and start recording. We go over the features of our application and the tech stack that we have used to create this. Then we have frequently asked questions section which you should check out if you are facing any issue. Here we have section for various guides like skin preparation and all. We have store links which you can check out if you want to buy your new Biome PX Shippel or any other Biome hardware. Let's start visualizing now by clicking on this button. This page goes through how to connect your Biome PX Shippel or any other Biome hardware to your microcontroller unit or ADC. Here we have showcased it with Arduino Uno R3. It goes through how to connect the Biomphic chip to the Arduino, then Biom cable to the Biomphic chip, then how to place electrodes to record EMG, ECG, and all. To start visualization and recording, hit on connect. Here you have to choose your Arduino hardware, which is CDC port POM 13 for our Arduino Uno R4. Here you have to connect, and this should start visualization in a second. Here you can see the ECG signal coming from the A0 input of Arduino. I can click on auto scale. I can increase the number of plots I want because I have connected multiple sensors to this board. First one is ECG. Second is EMG. If I am flexing my muscle, you can see the signal. Third is EOG. If I blink my eyes, you can see the signal. The last is EEG. You can see some artifacts. I can hit auto scale again. This normalizes the signal from zero to 14 bit resolution of the Arduino Uno R4. Then you have option to start recording. You have to hit record. Here you see an infinite symbol. That means your signal will be recorded for infinite time until unless you hit stop. Let's say if you want to record it for one minute, I'll click on this one. The software says recording end time is set to one minute. Let's wait for some seconds. Once this timer is ended, your file will be downloaded automatically. To download the recorded file, you have to click on this download button. Hit save to record your file. Now you can start recording again. Make sure you delete the file or record to start recording a new file. If you don't do that, the recording button will be disabled. I can just delete and start recording again. Let's remove the number of channels and auto scale. A nice feature of the software, if you want to record or just Showcase this image to others just for visualization purposes. You can stop the view and just right click. You can save it as image. This image can be used in your research paper and other applications as well to showcase how good the signal is and what you have actually recorded. You can also change the theme of your software by clicking on this theme button. You have the option to go to the Chords web GitHub repository. This eye symbol shows you the version of Chords and the contributor list. That was all for this video. Check the description box below for more information about Chords, our new hardware and news. Stay tuned for more updates like this. Have a good one. Bye.